Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're talking about iOS 13.1. Apple is soon to be releasing the software to everyone worldwide here in the next couple of hours, and I wanted to share with you guys my final thoughts on the software, some of the new features coming, some of the changes, as well as my thoughts on the battery and the performance, and should you update to the latest 13.1. Let's begin with some of the changes that are coming and some of the new features, starting with sharing ETA. The Maps application now offers the share ETA with your contacts, so if you have a meeting, to attend or an event, you can share your estimated time of arrival in the maps with your family members, with your friends, on your contacts, and they would know exactly before you get there and when you're going to get there. So sharing ETA is going to be a new feature for iOS 13.1. Also in the Siri shortcuts application, we have the create automations is also back on 13.1. Another feature initially intended for 13.0 pushed back and now 13.1 will have Siri shortcuts creating personal automations on your devices as well as for your home. So personal automations are here. Slightly tweaked volume HUD. So now when you have an AirPlay device or maybe a wireless headphones connected, you can see the actual icons and the name of the device in the volume HUD for 13.1. We also have a slightly tweaked dynamic wallpaper page here in settings. So if we go to settings and we go to wallpapers here, we see that under dynamic wallpapers, we have slightly tweaked new ones here for all iPhones in iOS 13.1. Now, one thing I didn't know this is that the live wallpapers initially shipped with 13.0 for the iPhone 11 Pro are gone on 13.1. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe Apple will bring this back. There's also some changes to the airdrop menu. So right here, we now see the actual device that you're airdropping to with the updated wallpapers and the actual updated graphics as well. It looks a lot nicer as well. We also have improvements to audio sharing on iOS 13.1, improved connectivity, improved speeds. Now under the battery widgets, in the widgets, we now see slightly tweaked icons as well as the new Xbox icon when you know when you have another Bluetooth device connected that has a battery you can see there that the icons are slightly tweaked we also see that the TV icon on the home screen now has white font the icon is slightly different so if we see an iPhone that has a previous version of iOS let me go ahead and show you here we see that the icon has green font this one is white this looks like they tweaked as well in regards to battery and performance I have to say 13.1 has excellent battery life in regards to performance you'll be happy to learn that iOS 13.1 is better than 13.0 on all devices. Everything is working as it is intended. Everything feels smooth, nice, and ready to go. So you'll be happy to update to 13.1. I think you should definitely upgrade if you're on 13.0 for all devices, new and old, from the iPhone SE all the way up to the latest iPhone 11 Pro. 13.1 will be a great update with a ton of changes and improvements and new features for you guys to enjoy. Thank you for watching my final review on 13.1. Hope you guys enjoy the software. Have a great day, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.